Yeah, so the other day I got in an argument with my friend about music and uh, he didn't like what I had to say. Apparently I uh, struck a chord with him. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's Martin Ross and today we're breaking down SWV. You're the one for me and uh, hopefully it gets to you this Friday. Um, I'm trying to release it this Friday. Um, it's going to be a quick video, um, but before we get into it, you know the drill. If you like these samples, check out the links in the description. My samples are there. Sample Library Source. You want to check that out. Also, leave a like. If you like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Also, if you hit the subscribe button and click the bell, you should know that today, Friday, you know, being Friday, that you got an alert that I uploaded it to you. Also, if you like the video, share it to somebody you know that might like it. Without further ado, let's break it down. All right. This is going to be a quick video, so I'm going to get right to it. We're going to hit three parts, same exact notes, same exact way. So the first part of it is going to be, which is G sharp or A sharp to F sharp, F sharp to F. We're going to go back, which is A sharp, F sharp. All right. And then we're going to go back to F sharp and then F. All right. Now we have a variation and the variation is which is D sharp, F, F sharp, A sharp. Now we're going to loop that all over again, and then we're going to use different notes on the second variation. It's which is A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, and F. All right. So we're going to play that back along with the guitar, the bass, and the clav and organ. Now I put those all together so that way you can get more of the meat, the beefy type of feel on the beat. So again, you're going to hear the guitar, the bass, and my key group. And I distorted the guitar to give it more of that grit. All right, we've got the piano. Now, again, I don't know what samples were used, so I'm making all these samples as we go. I'm actually playing what I hear from the samples. So if you like that, let me know in a comment. Also, leave a video. And if you haven't already, come on, hit the subscribe button, please. Please. All right, so for the piano, it's just going to be. Now I'm going to do that in octaves. Um, and the notes are D sharp, F, F sharp and then G sharp. Again, like the other side of the, uh, the main bass and everything, we're all playing in two octaves. That's why it's giving me that strong feel. All right, let's hear what that sounds like. All right, so now we're using the strings. Strings I'm also playing in octave, high octave, and I'm using just uh, uh, G sharp, F sharp, F, D sharp, and C. Let's see what it sounds like. And there's your strings. All right, again, to fill the gap of missing samples, um, I threw in a lead. The lead follows literally the exact same notes. I'm just doing a little bit of glissandos, and it's gonna go like this. I just kind of sped it up for you, so let's play it back. I also played in the wrong octave, so sorry. So I hope you're liking this video. I hope you're liking my mistakes I'm making. So if you notice a mistake, leave a comment. If you don't, leave a like. <laughs> All right. All right, we got our effects guitars. It's literally following the same notes as the bass, as the piano, but I have them kind of off and wild effects. So that way it kind of fills those uh, spacious gaps. So let's hear what that sounds like. Again, trying to fill spacious gaps with missing samples. All right, so the vocals. Um, all I did was say the line, you're the one for me, 
chop that up and use the pads to time it so that way it kind of goes with the loop. I also panned left, right. I pitched the right to kind of make it a, um, you know, different person, I guess you could say. Um, also, I threw a flanger and a filter to kind of give it that sample effect. Again, if you like uh, anything I'm doing or have any questions on how I do these samples, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So let's play this back. See what it sounds like. You're the one for me. All right, and you're going to hear that constantly throughout the song. All right, moving on to everyone's favorite part, the drums. Now, this is a bit heavy, so just warning you. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's only five samples. It's my kick, two snares. I layer my snares, close hat, open hat. Um, it's a basic boom tap. Uh, the kick kind of following the bass and everything. Um, but essentially, it, it, it gives you that like groove. I don't care what anybody says. Basic boom bap drums are really can really just be just enough for a song. So let's hear what that sounds like. All right, we finished it. I know it's fast, but this song was actually a lot harder to like redo than what it looks like. Again, I'm breaking everything down taking hours of what I've done to learn. I don't have a perfect year. Um, not every sample is going to be correct, but it's my uh, version of whatever I hear. So let's see what it sounds like. You're the one for me. You're the one. Turn on the pick up the beat it does. It doesn't start on the one. You're the one. Man, it just feels thick. That's 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 why I double dance more like that. And we got that guitar fill in that empty space. Watch. Yeah. And we got that piano there. With the lead. A little gentle, just sitting in the back there. All right, there it is. We broke it down. We broke SWVs. You're the one for me. Um, it's one of my favorite. Just like right here, I'm so into you, man. Those, this was the era of music for me. Um, I, it painstakingly took time to learn these songs. It's not easy just to put together. To um, people look at sampling and they think sampling is so easy. It's a lot harder than you think it is. It's even harder to interpret the samples using instruments. Again. This is not a perfect loop or a perfect copy of uh, the song. It's my versions pulling off samples that I don't know where they came from. Um, and, you know, sometimes they bring in session uh, instrument players to play those samples or play what sounds like a sample. So you have to think about that. Um, if you like the detail of what I've done, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you don't like. Also, if you like the video, hit a like button. Also, if you like those samples that I played, you can get them in my sound library resource. The links are in the description. Most important, hit that subscribe button, click the bell so that way you get future updates to your device. It's Friday. You should be watching this on Friday if you got it. <laughs> also, share it to somebody if you really like the video. This was Martin Ross breaking it down with SWV. You're the one for me. Y'all have a great day.